is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite products I've been loving lately. We have some skincare, makeup, fashion, all of the fun lifestyle things. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this. And as always, everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get right on into the video. We're going to start out with fashion first because I only have one fashion favorite right now. I've been wearing this so much. It is the Levi 501 skinny jeans. I know skinny jeans are kind of like out right now. This is one of my favorite pairs of jeans right now. I wear it with literally everything. I just wore it a couple days ago with this sweater actually. I was kind of skeptical when I first saw these because I'm like I'm not a huge like skinny jean kind of girl anymore. They're not so like hug to your legs at the bottom, which is what I really don't like about skinny jeans. And plus they have some fring at the bottom, which I love. Um, these are not distressed in any way. I just feel like you need like one good pair of jeans and I actually don't own any other Levi's. I feel like the last time I wore Levi's was like when I was a kid, but like throughout middle school and high school, I just wore like Hollister and American Eagle, but now we're glowing up. Next up is skincare. I have been really into skincare. I have been obsessed with the skincare company, The Ordinary. I have three products from them. These two I have been using the most though. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this Oh gosh, I'm gonna butcher it. It's a salicylic acid 2% mask. I hope I said that right. This is like my new holy grail of like masks. This is for blemish prone skin and it just literally wipes all the pores away. It cleans them all out. So if you're looking for a really good clay mask, I highly recommend this. I use this about once every three weeks, at least once a month. It's literally amazing, definitely worth the investment. The ordinary products aren't too expensive, but for the size of this mask and the price of it, it might be a little pricey. But if you're in the market for something that is just going to clear your face up really quick, this stuff is really good and has helped with my scarring and just upcoming blemishes, so. I gotta do this mask pretty soon anyways because I'm starting to break out. This next product I actually bought pretty recently. This is their Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% formula. This is high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So this is another good one if you have like acne prone skin or breakout prone skin like I do. This stuff is actually really amazing. You can use this in the morning or night. I just prefer to do this at night. The first night I used this, my skin cleared up tremendously. And I just kind of wear it like every other night. So I absolutely love the serum. I also have the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. I don't think it has zinc in it, but that's also a really good niacinamide serum. But something about zinc in this, it just helps clear my skin up. I don't know all of the benefits of it and like what it actually is for, but it says it's for blemish prone skin. So I'm just gonna go with it. But this is another really good purchase and their serums are actually pretty affordable. So if you haven't checked out The Ordinary yet, I highly recommend it. It's in Ulta, by the way, not sponsored, but it's in Ulta and Ulta is my go-to because they also now carry good molecules, which is another brand I absolutely love. And the last product I actually really like, this is nothing like brand specific, but it is these little blemish stickers. I got sent some from Peach Slices. I have them all in here. They gave me the dark spot dots and then the acne spot dot. This is what the acne spot dots look like. I really like their dark spot dots because it has literally like tiny little darts in them. But I put the sticker on and I kind of like press it in, you know, to get the sticker to stick on. And I can feel those little darts. But then I also recently picked up these Hero Mighty Patch Original Blemishes. I got these at Target. I wouldn't say that these stickers like make the breakout go away, but if it's an up and coming breakout and you just put it on and then you like wait a little bit and take it off, it's like literally ready to pop and it's amazing. So that's the skincare. Now it's time for the makeup. I mentioned these products in my everyday makeup routine. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a card up here. But these are very recent purchases that I've been loving recently. So this one is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer uh, Natural Skin Perfector. You guys, if you are in the market for a good BB cream, a good tinted moisturizer, 
I highly recommend trying this out. I'm used to my Maybelline BB cream and that stuff works just fine, but this is on a whole other level. I'm just the type of person that likes a light coverage makeup look, nothing crazy. So this is definitely not for full coverage makeup wear. This is definitely something if you wanna wear every day and you just need to cover up a little bit. And also a little goes a long way. So think about that if you're considering getting this. A little bit does go a long way, which I absolutely love, especially for a product this expensive. And it's paired really nicely with the translucent setting powder. So if you have the setting powder like I did before and you're considering something like this, I would definitely just try it out. If not, you can always return it. And then the last makeup product is by Beauty Counter. I have heard some things about Beauty Counter, mostly like, are they an MLM? I'm not completely sure. But they sell this at Sephora. They actually sent me this mascara. And I don't know if it's like the new mascara effect where, you know, the first couple wears are just amazing amazing but you guys this is literally perfect for lengthening your lashes i'm wearing them i'm wearing this mascara right now i don't know if you can tell it is their think big all-in-one mascara this is in better black but the bristles on this thing is amazing mascara really just comes down to like the bristles because some give you volume some give you length this gives you length and this is also a long lasting mascara it actually helps with the curl when i curl my eyelashes and i put on mascara it doesn't like stick straight out for a very long time which i really like so this is one mascara i've been really gravitating towards in my everyday makeup routine it definitely makes me want to look into beauty counter products more because i believe they are a clean beauty brand I definitely want to gravitate towards like cleaner beauty um, and all that fun stuff. So that's another favorite I've been into. Okay, so this is part of like the miscellaneous stuff. I've been really loving this blanket recently. It's actually a weighted blanket. Not really sure where it's from. My mom just gave it to me, but it is pink and it has little fuzzies on it. I absolutely love this. This actually was my mom's and she passed it down to me um, because I have been wanting a weighted blanket for such a long time. I believe this is a 12 pounder. Um, so I just put this on my bed at night and my sleep has been amazing lately. But apparently weighted blankets help with like stress and anxiety and um, just overall like more comfortable of a sleep experience but this has been keeping me warm that's what a blanket is for so my weighted blanket i absolutely love it i don't know where it's from so i'll try to find something similar on like amazon or something and link that down below and then the last product i feel like this is not a favorites video or any kind of faith elizabeth video without coffee somehow in the mix so i'm gonna go downstairs because it's the fall time i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make a pumpkin cream cold brew specifically the creamer i use i wanted to include that in my favorites video uh-oh i messed up dang it and now it's like everywhere i tried a new technique uh -oh. oh. So good. This is the stuff I have been putting in my cold brew lately. I've been putting a little bit of this pumpkin spice almond milk creamer and then a drop of maple syrup. I have gotten this cold brew. It's a pumpkin spice cold brew with maple foam i got that from a coffee shop recently and i have been loving it so i try to make something similar at home definitely not the same but this combo is so good the maple syrup adds a little bit of like that fall taste to it so i highly recommend trying that if you haven't yet but this is just the one i use from costco and this you can get I want to say anywhere, but it's like always sold out. So if you ever see it in your grocery stores, hop on it and get it and try it. So I think that's going to be it with my fall favorites video slash products I have been loving recently. If you did enjoy this video, let me know down in the comments below and giving this video a thumbs up. If you are new here and you like what you are seeing so far, make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single Friday at noon Pacific and I post on my Instagram all the time. So I'll leave all my socials linked down below but with that i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you guys in my next vlog next week bye Thank you.